Introducing Mini Hubble. This is the original Hubble. Let's take a look at the Mini Hubble. Okay, this device is 60% smaller and 50% lighter than the original, and of course, incredibly feature rich. Okay, before we start showing you more about the actual Mini Hubble, I just wanted to bring back the original Hubble. So this is actually the first one. Now, of course, while they share the name Hubble, they are in fact actually two very different products. For example, this one has 45 times zoom. This one has 25 times zoom. This one works at 400 meters of IR distance. This one does 100 meters of IR distance. This camera was designed to be somewhere in the region of around about maybe seven or eight meters high in the sky. This device can be installed maybe six meters high in the sky. So of course the applications and scenarios for the products are very different already. This one does crowd, crowd mapping and vehicle density. This one does not. The Mini Hubble has the ability for video metadata. Big Hubble or the original Hubble does not. So of course between the two of them, yes they are called Hubble, but they're still very different products. Now, talking about the field of view between these two pro products here, is that having 45 times zoom, the fact that that's nearly like approximately 1.55 miles away, then of course obviously gives you some incredible benefits whenever using you know, public space awareness or parking solutions. Uh, this product here, uh, this one will be able to use for city centers and small retail applications. And of course, based on the actual size between the devices, this is almost the same size as a regular PTZ. This is an incredibly overt PTZ. So of course, if you did deploy this in a city-based solution or public space awareness, well, you're not going to exactly miss that, are you? It's like a pretty big PTZ. So of course, even with that is a unique feature. So today we're going to take a look at the Mini Hubble. Now the Mini Hubble comes in three different variations. You've got the 180 degree camera, 270 and 360. Now the panoramic lenses will in fact actually make up to rather 8 or 16 megapixels and you have a 4 megapixel detail lens. Now the Mini Hubble is equipped with starlight technology through all of the lenses and of course has 100 meters of IR distance. Now this device is incredibly feature rich. It will come with smart tracking, perimeter protection, face detection, and my favorite, video metadata. Now, when you utilize the smart tracking technology, it will take the event from the top panoramic lenses and then of course report the X and Y coordinates of the event to the detailed lens. So then that way it will in fact actually know exactly where to look within the full 270 or 180 or 360 degree panoramic view. Okay, now I'm a bit of a fan of the video metadata because whenever you have on board front end video metadata, then of course not only can you use a non-artificial intelligent recorder, but most importantly, when you're actually looking for a description of someone or maybe a person based on the item of their clothing or even a color of a vehicle, then of course video metadata will be able to answer that incredibly easy. You'll be able to do a search based on what the top color is, or maybe even the type of top color, you know, between long, long sleeve and short sleeve. You'll be able to do a, a search for like a white Ford, for example. So of course, I'm a big fan of video metadata. Okay, now one of the one things I'm really excited about is a unique selling point to this product is the two-way audio. Now, two-way audio is incredibly rare on PTZ technology because normally whenever you put a microphone on the inside of a PTZ, whenever you use telemetry, all you really do is actually hear stepper motors in the microphone. However, though, in this case here, that does not happen. They built a product with two speakers and two microphones. I did a audio challenge outside of our innovation van while it was on, which means the engine was running and I could actually hear the audio challenge perfectly. Considering that the Hubble was installed on a mast six meters in the air, then of course I was incredibly impressed. Now, because of Mini Hubble being much more lighter than the original Hubble, then of course it's uh, much easier to install. Once again, the Mini Hubble has that hook on the back. So of course it is in fact actually a single one man installation. And as you will see from this image, we have put a bubble onto the lid of the actual Hubble. So then that way you can in fact actually see when it's level. 
Another new feature to this particular product is the random splicing removal. So had you actually installed this camera like on a pole mount or in a building and of course there were a load of pillars in the way, what you can then do is go into the random splicing removal and then just turn off one lens and of course the splice will in fact actually complete without it. So then that way if there was an obstacle in your way, you can easily remove it. So different to the original Hubble, if you have those smaller spaces and of course you want to have a larger field of view and a feature rich device, then I think Mini Hubble is the device for you.